Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to Viking Purgatory. We're back with Valheim tonight, headed back out to the plains to work on the farm that we started last time. Uh, we spent a whole lot of time digging this big trench and making an area we could build on. Now that we've done all that basic work, I want to actually get the farm in place and then maybe get started on building uh, some sort of a building we can use there as a safe shelter or whatever. Uh, but welcome anyone who's here in the chat so far, or if you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. Uh, as always, a big thanks to everyone who's clicked on the join button to become a channel member. I do appreciate the support. And a special thanks to all of our top tier mistakes were made members. Uh, thank you all very much. Uh, you were all highlighted at the start of the stream, and you're all happy, wonderful people. Uh, we died a lot in the plains digging this trench, so hopefully this thing turns out the way I wanted to. Because <laughs> otherwise, it might have been a gigantic waste of effort. But uh, we made a sort of a double tiered flat area that we can we can do our farming in. I want to do uh, two sets of crops in the lower section, and then uh, build some windmills. And then have a uh, like stairway going up to the upper level where we're going to build our shelter. Um, some sort of like a Viking style building type thing we'll put up there. Um, something we can have like a sleeping area in and the ability to do some cooking and stuff. Uh, maybe a tiny bit of crafting. I, I kind of at the point where I've got bases in a few different places. Uh, but I really only have the ability to do any real like crafting, repairing, upgrading of stuff. Like from, uh, from this core base here that we have. It's kind of more like... Uh, I don't know, it's like a hovel. <laughs> this is the first base we made, and we've kind of expanded on it to, to make space, but, uh... Yeah, I mean, we could do with, uh... We could do with being able to craft and repair things other places. But I haven't carried the metal to our other bases in order to do that kind of upgrading, so... A uh, bit of a work we gotta do there. Uh, we are gonna need things like wood... Uh, in order to get the, uh... The structures and stuff built. Um, we may want to get some stone, so we can do, like, some stone pathways and stuff. I gotta figure that out. Uh, we did plant beets here last time, too. I should... Looks like they're still growing. Some of them... Like, this little one says it's healthy, but it's it's awfully small compared to these other ones. But I can't harvest anything yet, so they're still growing. Uh, we're eventually going to populate this whole field in here with beets, so that we can uh, make some of that fancy beet soup or beet stew or whatever it is that's supposed to be so good. Let's see what happens. Hi, Gordon Fox. I'm a new subscriber enjoying the channel. Well, welcome, Neohack. Glad you enjoy the channel. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I've, I've, I'm in the process also of continuing to smelt some more of this black metal. Uh, I don't have anything else I can craft with it just yet, but I gather, I gather we'll get to the point where we can. We can make some like black metal weapons and stuff, uh, so that'll be fun to do too. Uh, we may not spend the entire time building today. I, I've been doing a, a bunch of that lately. I might actually want to go out and head off to the swamps and try to get our hands on some more iron. Uh, we have like three bars of it left, uh, but I'm pretty sure we need more. And I think we might even need some for the windmill. Uh, oh, we only need iron nails. So I've got enough to make, like, one windmill, basically. So we're going to want to get our hands on some more iron. Well, there's also a spinning wheel we can make, which I, uh, I haven't done yet. Uh, that'll be useful when we have, like, the flax and stuff. That'll let us make cloth, I suppose. Uh, artisan table requires the dragon... Dragon tears. We've got a few of those kicking around, so that should be all right. But um, iron is going to be one of those things that we do need more of. Um, I ne also need some more bronze, because I haven't got enough to make all the uh, uh, fermenting barrels that I want for our mountaintop base, and I need some tin in order to make bronze. We do have some copper already, but uh, tin's relatively easy to get, so I don't, I don't think I'm going to work on getting that today. We'll probably do that off-stream sometime, if I can actually get a chance to play. And uh, instead today, we'll maybe go hunt for some iron once we get this stuff done. But um, first order of business, we are going to need some wood, so I probably should get our uh, little wagon ready. I have no idea what I put in here, but there's something in here. Oh, junk. Good. Excellent. Always room for junk. I spent at least four hours digging trenches. That was really popular last time. Well, yeah, I mean, we could, uh, we could dig a trench all the way across the plains. Like, drawing a line that, uh, the goblins have to stay on one side and the, uh, the locks on the other or something. <laughs> Somewhere here I have some skulls and bones and stuff. And get, uh, uh, I should stop. There we go. Skulls. Uh, I've got a collection of bones here somewhere that I know is not a full stack of 50. There it is. Now it is. Oh, darn. Alright, good enough. Gotta unload a little bit. Okay, uh, I did stock up on a few more obsidian arrows, not a lot more. I do need to get, uh, I need to get some more feathers. So maybe what I'll do while we're chopping trees... We should get some feathers actually while we're chopping the trees too, but I'm gonna take the arrows that I have in here. Uh, and swap those out instead for some wood arrows that I have here somewhere. There they are. We'll use those to hunt birds. They're a little bit cheaper. 
You should put signs under each chest so you know what's in it. Uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of crowded for space in this one a little bit, so I can't really put a sign underneath each chest because some of the chests have mixed products in them. I've been saying forever I was going to expand on the base here and make like a blacksmith area and like a storage space and stuff, almost like a vault. Uh, as you can see, I've done a really good job of doing that. <laughs> I'm, I'm totally on top of it. Uh, I should actually plant some more trees too, because I am gonna need. I'm gonna need a bunch of a bunch of wood and stuff soon. Um, I have fir trees and pine cones. No, oh, I guess we'll just we'll go with the uh, the beech seeds. Plant some of those. Fox organized? Never. Yeah, this is already the most organized I normally get in games. <laughs> usually. Usually I'm a horrible slacker when it comes to organization in games, and I don't really do it. Um, so, <laughs> consider yourselves lucky that I have that much organization. Oreo cookie cheesecake slice. Mm, that's not good for dogs. Rabbit shouldn't eat that. I'll have it. Too hard my butt. My silver sword can't chop it, but my iron axe can. Whatever. <laughs> Fill in trench this time. Oh yeah, we could do that. Uh, that'd be a good use of our time. It'd be just like, uh, you know, dealing with kids or something. Drop the tree on him. Oh, it's not gonna fall the right way. Can we destroy Nate's house? We could, but he's been working on building it. I don't want to. I don't want to be that mean. Takes time and effort to build stuff. Ah! I squished myself. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> Do you have kids by using to fill in the trenches? Yes, yeah, right. Get them to dig a hole and then fill it back in again, just to show them what time waste looks like. You should make it look like an accident when Nate's house gets destroyed. my little kitten meowing upstairs in desperation. She's got the, the most pitiful meow I've ever heard. <laughs> Anytime she's by herself, she just, like, doesn't like it. <laughs> yes, this is modern art we're making. We're not, we're not trying to chop trees down, we're making art. Yeah, I got one feather out of chopping all those? That sucks. Oh, I should probably top up my food supply here, too. Um, I guess I went through all the sausages I had. I'm gonna have to work on getting more of those. I think thistle might be a bit of a restricting factor for me, though. Yep, mm, turnips. We're getting there. They're growing, but they're not ready for harvest yet. The, the first field of turnips I've managed to grow in the game. <laughs> Lucky you, ESO. I'm watching from cell phone. ESO. I'm confused. Oh my god. Twin Blade with the Michael Jackson parodies. Just beat it! So I don't really know how much wood we're going to need, but I know we're going to be building a structure there. I kind of want to build some fences. Uh, I want to put like a... I think I'm going to... Like just for... For aesthetics, I'm going to put like a, a wood barrier around the farm... The two different farm plots. So they look all fancy-like. We'll do a little stone path down the middle kind of thing. We'll find all the nicest shrubbery. 
Put it back to the Knights who say knee. Uh, and then uh, I'm thinking like probably two stairs, one on either side, with our building kind of in the middle. Uh, I'll do a door on both ends so we can, like, which, regardless of which side of the farm we're on, we can kind of enter. For the wheel out parody of Eat It? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I haven't heard that in forever. Classic Weird Al. ESO is esoteric, first three letters of their name. Oh, I knew that. IR Smirt. Will you chop down the mightiest tree in the forest with the herring? Of course we will. <laughs> if only. I'll rename my axe herring. Yeah, that's full. I'm all full. I'm carrying the coal around on me, which is not really an efficient thing to do while I'm harvesting, I guess. Stick all this in here. Uh, maybe I'll put the coal in here, too, for now. It's just added weight that I don't need. Ow! Rename a bone tool to a herring. <laughs> But I can't chop down the largest tree in the forest with the bone tool. I would try, but mine axe is named Thor, and herring is not but a butter knife. So <laughs> not really even that, it's more of like a kind of a floppy fish. <laughs> but it's herring bone. I get it, but I can't chop down the biggest tree in the forest with it. This is the uh, the high action part of the stream where we do the chopping. <laughs> well, I figured out how to change your profile, but well, congratulations! I haven't changed mine so long. I actually don't remember how to do it. For a little while, I had to do it on uh, Google Plus or whatever. Just kind of annoying when they had that social tool going on. It was a tool, all right. Yeah, we got one more boss up to fight. Uh, what's his name? Yagloth or whatever his name is? I haven't really been rushing through the bosses, but the, uh, the last one to fight is the one that's in the plains. And I think his name is Yagloth. He's like a big skeletal dude. At least until they add more. <clears throat> now, I think there is supposed to be more bosses coming. Uh, they're going to flesh out the other biomes that are in the game, but not really finished. Like the, uh, the, uh, the Wraith Lands or whatever. I think that's what it's called. I could be wrong. You have to change it on Google account? Oh, do you? Yeah, it used to be Google Plus you had to do everything through. It was really annoying. It was hard to interact with. It wasn't a very well designed setup for that thing. Okay, let's uh, grab our cart. I think we got a decent amount of wood to get started anyway. I don't really know exactly how much we're going to need. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if we need more than what I have, but uh, at least we got enough to get started. Ooh, and I can shoot this guy. Need some arrows. <laughs> I love how they explode. The arrows. What's this down here? Oh, skeleton parts. Right. That was from that raid we had. Skeleton bones all over the place here now. Ah! What are you guys doing here? I don't know who you think you are, but you guys... I already had my pig killed by somebody. I don't really need these guys coming in here messing this up. Two-star deer. Ah, I'm out of stamina. <laughs> Get some meat on that guy. Get all your meat. It's a 
clothing raid from the rival rat. Or the rival frat. <laughs> yeah. As long as they don't steal my goat. Who do you think you are? Another toast. Oh, I should fix this thing too. He's in rough shape a little bit. Okay, so we got uh, a little more wood to stick in there. Uh, man, I've only got it's only got five feathers. Whoops, that's not really doing me doing me right. We need this leather, but we'll keep it anyway. Uh, food can go up here. Eyeballs down here. Seeds can go in the middle. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I took the seeds out there, then I forgot to plant them. Uh, all right, whatever. I guess it's fine. I'll deal with planting them later, I guess. I wonder if I got the rest of my feathers. Oh, yeah. A lot of resin. Okay, uh, sausages. I mean, I have I have nine thistles, but I, I don't think that's going to be enough. Oh, most of them got. Wow, I'm down to three entrails. Man, we really do need to go to the swamp. I guess I can make carrot soup. I've got 50 of, the, 50 of these things. I can also make some jam, I guess. What do I need for the carrot? Ah, I'm on fire. <laughs> Pre-roasted carrots. Um, all right, we make a little bit of sausage anyway. <laughs> all four of them. Seems to get feathers when it's raining. All the birds land are easy to shoot. Yeah, I'm just not often hunting for the birds on a, like a regular basis. Kind of just every once in a while I do. Who needs an around when you can just walk on the fire on your own? That's right. I think, I think that's actually how he originally discovered that you could light yourself on fire. He just saw me do it. <laughs> to myself. And he's like, this holds possibilities of all kinds of torture. Uh, this can go away. I guess I'll just leave the honey here. I thought I had an open spot here, but I guess I put something in it. Oh, my arrows. All right, I'll take uh, I'll take my proper arrows with me, I guess. Uh, take these, and then I can leave the hat behind. Good enough. Gonna get a little rest, and we'll head out to the plains. Not a cryptic at all. Hey, Shogu, how you doing? It's not putting it to good use. Gently tying paper fan in the tail of shell dust, shell dust the house. Okay. So we got a, a decent supply of wood to start out with. Um, I'll probably have to shuttle it through a little bit at a time. I guess I could just totally overload myself. That's not going to hurt anything. Uh, this one's already connected to the planes. I dropped my axe. Where did I drop it? <laughs> That's a problem. It's right there. <laughs> Is my axe right there? I think we're good. Any to release games out that you're interested in checking out? Um, well, there's uh, the upcoming uh, Resident Evil game that's uh, coming out like next month. Um, I can't. I honestly can't think about what else is. Uh, what is this coming out in the near term? Every now and then I go and look it up, but then I promptly forget because, you know, I gotta remember like a sieve. <laughs> why didn't I repair the axe? Uh, because I was planning to go back. That's why. I don't really need the axe anyway over here.
no breathe to chop there at the moment. I do need to set more coal on this thing. Do I have coal in here still? Yep. Get this thing continuing smelting. Waiting on Sons of the Forest? Yeah, Sons of the Forest looks good. Um, the day before looks good. God, I don't know. There's uh, every now and then, I, I like I said, I flip through and check stuff out. There's um, there's a new one from the makers of Daisy that's coming out, and I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head at the moment. But it's a it's a survival game that's not that's not Daisy like. <laughs> um, God, I cannot think of the name of it off the top of my head right now. But it looks cool. Is it May fifth or twenty fifth? You bought the village last night, but I don't remember the reset. I think it's the fifth, isn't it? Oh, May 7th. Village release date is May 7th. But maybe if you bought it, you get like early access or something? I don't know. I haven't looked into the pre-order stuff for that. Um, but it's May 7th is the expected date. I want to see Fox play Final Fantasy VI Randomizer. I don't even know what that is. I mean, I know what Final Fantasy is, but... What's Final Fantasy VI Randomizer? Sounds kind of random. Oh, I've got uh, I've got the cultivator. Okay, we also need the uh, the grain that I collected on those horrible little goblin fiends. We have to do some planting. What's this about expecting May seventh? So that's uh, that's for uh, Resident Evil Village. It's supposed to be out on May seventh, I think. Healthy. Those are not harvestable yet. Just randomize your character and out you go. <laughs> Day Y, the prequel. <laughs> no, I, I, uh, I'm I, following them on Twitter, and I, I I can't think of the name of them off the top of my head now. It's going to bother me. Uh, how do I see who I'm following? I'm not following that many people, so it should be... Oh, Icarus, that's what it's called. Icarus First Cohorts. Looks like a kind of a cool survival game that's coming out. Okay, uh, this is reasonably flat. I mean, it doesn't look like it's perfect here, but I guess that's fine-ish. Uh, I want to... Well, I'm, gonna need, I'm gonna need a little bit of wood here. Snag a couple stacks of this. So I have no idea how wide this thing is, um, but I'm going to build like a uh, crafting, there we go. I'm going to build just like a little wooden border thing around it, around where we're going to have the farm plot. So I'm going to leave a spot there so we can have like a pathway. I'm trying to make this look quasi-organized for all you people that complain I'm never organized. This is a different, this is a different level. That's more different than I thought it was. That's problematic. Uh, I need this... Uh, where's my hoe? I thought I had this thing all ready. <laughs> Apparently, it's not as ready as I thought it was. I wonder if I'm going to need more stone. If so, that sucks. Maybe we'll, I'll start at this end here instead, and then, uh... Might improve the likelihood of me getting a proper level on it. Oh, God. And again. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is way more than I need. How far? Actually, I want to see how wide this thing is. Alright, that's like 15 across, I think, right there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15 across. I'm gonna leave a lot of, a lot of space over here, though. 
I'm gonna do like six across, I think, for each one. And we'll leave leave a, like a, an open path in the middle. Make that all stony. Eight on the side. Well, it won't quite fit sixteen. Well, it, it would probably fit sixteen across if I cro if I had this hug the side a little bit more. But I'm gonna um, I'm gonna make this this side over here six as well. Uh, but I want to have it inset just a little bit more, so at least it's a more of a similar match. Should be good enough. Because my plan is to put some uh, like the normal plains grass around it again. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then through the middle here we'll have like a, a a walkway, and then I'll do a walkway on this side going both left and right with a staircase going up on the uh, on both ends. And then uh, my building will be in the middle here. And then down here, I can do my windmills. So when we harvest, we got the uh, the windmills right there. That is a that's a lot more elevated than I like a bigger change in elevation than I thought it was. <laughs> ah, I need more stone. Thought we were done with all this leveling business. To see what the remake of this, uh, two and three does for jump scares, for which for uh, Resident Evil, I did uh, I did the remake of, of Resident Evil two. My twenties living with brother and mom and had to pay four hundred fifty bucks. What? Uh, I'm confused. Finally, way to see you live. Welcome, I needed this, Dave. Welcome to the stream. One, two, three. Ah. Uh. My workbench is going to be in the way. Yeah, that's gonna need a little bit of a little bit of TLC to get that leveled out again. We're gonna need to go chop some rocks down. I thought it, this was a lot more level than it looks now that I'm putting pieces on it. <laughs> Evening, more Valheims running construction on the plains farms. Yep. Yeah, so uh, one side's gonna be flax, the other side will be uh, rye or whatever it is we get. Barley. I can't remember what the two grains are. It might be barley. We uh, from here we can grow our grains, and then uh, inside the building we'll do our uh, our loom or whatever it is to make it into uh, spinning wheel, I guess, to turn it into uh, to cloth that we can use for crafting. We'll have grain for food, and I'm surprised that's not breaking. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> Stupid thing. All right, what have I got on me? All right, let's go ditch this stuff. I gotta go chop some rock. Make the artisan's workbench as well for spinning the flax. Yeah, I'm gonna put the artisan's workbench inside of our building up here. Because we won't need it down below, but I'll need the artisan's workbench for the windmills, so it's gotta be within range of those. Let me these here. Oh, I got 30 stone. That's a start, I guess. I just don't I don't know how much I'm gonna need, because I'm gonna have to level quite a bit here. Really? That's all I had? <laughs> Yikes. Man, that did not... Man, that didn't take... That didn't go anywhere as far as I thought it would. Okay, uh, I guess we'll just do... We'll chop up uh, the rocks over here by, by Skull Rock. Make use of them. Well, actually, we can get these ones here too, I guess. These are a little closer. Uh, don't we want the mid mill at the highest level to catch more wind? Oh, there is that, I guess. Uh, yeah, that might be a thing we might need to do. I, I kind of hadn't thought of that. 
Yeah, we might need to put it up higher. Doesn't require stone? What doesn't require stone? Holding shift while leveling uh, will level the ground to where you're standing. Doesn't require stone. Uh, no, no. Holding shift while you're leveling actually makes it a smooth slope between where you are and where you're leveling. Um, but I need to raise the train because you can only raise the train up so high um, just by leveling. And then it won't it won't lift it anymore. So you have to actually increase this, the, like, boost the, the soil level. And that takes stone, unfortunately. Don't level the grounds so you have the plumbing permits of final inspection signed off on. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to pay the contractors too early. Yeah, I'm aware they, they go the other way around, but games don't always follow physics. <laughs> I don't make the rules, I just complain about them. Ah, oh, shoot. <laughs> no kidding, never pay a contractor 100% up front. Yeah, yeah. Definitely not. What I should do is rip down that goblin tower over there. I guess you could, I could get a lot of stone out of that pretty quick. Sadly, it's got some of my stuff in it. That's right, I'll find a way to define physics. Usually if it results in something exploding. Like my horse-drawn wagon or something. Get up there. They want to have them trying to cover material costs, and you're getting a bad business cut. Yeah, 30% is typical. It does depend a little bit on what their risk is, but. Typically not 50. Donate to Fox like he's a contractor. 50% up front, 50% when he's done the build. <laughs> We've done the job of entertaining you, yeah. <laughs> Conditional super chats. <laughs> you could be like, mm, I'm not really happy with the outcome in this area. You need to come back and re entertain me on that particular topic. <laughs> <laughs> rock kind of you can build a you can build a base that way you can just drill down from the middle of the rock and then like chisel the doorway out now we've got a, an open vent for the, uh, the the smoke from the fire to go out Uh, that's going to be close to max as we're going to get. Worst Yelp review. Didn't oh. didn't entertain me enough. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's shoot you with obsidian arrows because you're right there. He's coming back for more. Easy way to get the uh, the iron. Except that guy didn't have any. Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm, I'm overloaded. I can't pick it up. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can get this built up in a way that's going to be reasonable now.
Jess with the super chat. Yay, I caught the cryptic. Hey, Jess, how you doing? If you've caught the cryptic, you should probably see a doctor about that. It's not too good to let that fester. <laughs> okay, we got a couple of pock hole, pock pock holes in here to fill in. Okay, see how that works. That's better. It's better. Good. Need more stamina. Printer box lasts for longer than four hours. Consult a physician. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got your vaccine shot yesterday. Had to drive to the pharmacy 90 miles away. Oh my god. 90 miles to go to a pharmacy for a shot. Well, I mean, I guess in this case it's probably worth it, but... I'm the, I have no idea when I'm going to get a chance to get mine. Canada is really dropping the ball on the uh, vaccinations. For all that we were making fun of the Americans for uh, their... Poor control of COVID. <laughs> we we sure have done a terrible job of uh, managing inoculations. Oh God! Jerk! Sneak attack! Just him. Come here, you. Yeah, I didn't even hear that guy. It was a stealth attack. Ninja death skeeto. Yeah, death bugs. How the kiddos enjoying their spring break? Uh, it's all right so far. My daughter got her first bank account today. I took her to the bank and uh, got her signed up for one. So she's excited about that because she really wanted to have a debit card that she could spend with. Other than that, it's getting kind of boring. I mean, there's nothing open because Ontario's in a lockdown. So there's there's really not anything for them to do. It's kind of like the worst spring break ever, really. But we also found out that they're not going back to school. So next Monday, where they normally would have been going back into class, it's going to be all online learning again for an indefinite period of time. Which I'm super thrilled about. Because that just makes working from home amazing. <laughs> You're American and you totally agree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure there's, there's probably a lot of American watching the uh, watching the streams. I think when it came to like the uh, the basics of like mitigation, we were we were ahead of the game. But when it comes to like inoculation, we are so far behind. <laughs> it's, it's awful. Missing requirement. Am I out of stone already? No, oh, I am. Uh, wow, that was all the stone already. That went fast. Jeez. Can you set up a tent in the backyard? Uh, our, our, we have a townhouse. We don't really have a, a backyard to speak of. And uh, our kids aren't really uh, aren't really interested in the outdoor sleeping. They're very bug phobic. <laughs> so we actually debated setting up a tent in the living room and having them camp out in that. But uh, my 12-year-old daughter wasn't super thrilled with the idea. I don't think it's really her, uh, her jam. She'd rather just be comfortable in bed. <laughs> Okay, I've got, I got this sort of leveled. I mean, I need uh, this bench is gonna move. I got a workbench down there already, so I don't need this one. Get that out of here. I gotta chisel this thing out again. <laughs> I can't win. <laughs> Come on. Well, I mean, that could be a side of one of my staircases. <laughs> I wanted it to be a little bit farther over, though. That, that didn't work at all. Uh, I'm going to go sleep again and make it daytime. I don't want to work at night. Too many Deskitas around. 
Kids go camping in a Motel 6. <laughs> That's right. Uh, SK vaccination is rolling like a ball, uh, like a ball down one of our hills. We have no hills. Oh, yeah, Saskatchewan, yeah. <laughs> Saskatchewan's very flat. <laughs> Vaccine will kill more than COVID. Okay, that, take that false information and go somewhere else with it. That's that's just patently false. I don't want to hear any of that. <laughs> if, if that's the way you're going to be, go somewhere else. Uh, locks stuff can go here. I, do I have any stone in any of these chests? I can't remember if I left any behind. Okay. Put all the goblin heads. Oh, they're up here. <laughs> Happy grow up in a fall, small town in Unhell with three and a half acres of land and a pond on the edge of town. It's like, yeah, that's nice. So when you got a little bit of land, it gives you opportunities to go outside and do stuff, right? You're not like, uh, you're not stuck in a home. So, yeah, for us, we have a couple of problems. I mean, we have a dog, we have a townhouse, <laughs> and with no yard. So we can't let the dog go out and run in the yard. We can't let the kids play in the yard because it really isn't one to speak of. I forgot camping in the yard, because, you know, same reason. <laughs> it does li it does limit those kinds of uh, random things a little bit. Saskatchewan's beautiful, all province terrain matters. I mean, Saskatchewan's nice. It is very flat, though. Manitoba was kind of the same thing. The only real hills in the, in the province were... Well, in the area of the province I was in, anyway, southern Manitoba. The only hills were... Uh, Man-made. <laughs> they were mostly on golf courses. <laughs> Alright, I gotta chop a little bit more stone. I'm, I'm pretty close to having this level at least, finally. So close. Oh, I was reading chat. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, well. That's not part of my base. I don't care if that's deformed. Yeah, maybe I can get a little stone right here. Can I chop this while I'm standing on it? That would be a no. This one might be too small. There we go. Darn it. <laughs> that one's definitely too small. There's no way I'm standing on that. When I was California on a training bag, that was a beautiful trip. I've uh, I've driven through like uh, like northern Ontario and across the plains, and uh, I mean there's some beautiful country in Canada to travel through. But uh, places like Saskatchewan and Manitoba are the places where people fall asleep on the highway because it's so flat and boring. <laughs> not that it's not beautiful, but it's it's very flat, and there's just it's, it's, it becomes a very monotonous travel, and people have a tendency to fall asleep on the Trans Canada Highway. Been Oregon about 60 to 90 minutes uh, of the great fishing in direction. Oh, nice. Winnipeg has the floodway half moat. I mean, I used to go out to Lake Winnipeg and you'd have to walk like a kilometer out in the lake before you could get like waist deep. <laughs> Sounds like driving on the A17. Yeah, anywhere that the ground is like super flat and it's largely straight lines. Not, uh, not really good for driving. <laughs> it's just, it's too boring, like, it, 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 it dulls the mind while you're driving. That's where auto, uh, like, auto, auto-driving cars will come in handy. <laughs> then we don't have to pay attention. Looks like parts of New York tourists always get in accidents on the way to the, to Cooperstown. Oh, yeah. People do fall asleep. My neighbor has to have to replace a fence several times. Yeah, 100% they do. I used to live out there. People literally fall asleep driving down the highway because it's just, it's so monotonous. <laughs> <laughs> you 
Yeah. Yeah, it's the, it's the it looks like the same thing over and over again while you're driving, right? So there's there isn't anything mentally engaging about it, and then it it's bad. I drove back from uh, from Manitoba. I had a couple times where I swear I was falling asleep. Can't tell you how many truckers see because they fell asleep. I believe it. Yeah. Well, not only that, but because as a trucker, you're probably driving really long hours too, right? So you add in the long hours on top of the you know the type of train that doesn't require a lot of focus, and uh, <laughs> away you go. Off to La La Land. Next thing you know, your truck is upside down in a ten foot deep ditch. <laughs> by Regina, the city that runs with fun. Oh my god. <laughs> One of the concerns with auto-driving cars is what happens when their 15-year-old and Bob down the street is repairing his old his own self-driving car? I'm sure I want to be on that road. Well, I bet you it will run into the same problems people are having with uh, right-to-repair issues right now with current technology. I, I guarantee you it's gonna, there's going to be a right-to-repair kind of scenario for that going on. Fell asleep on a motorcycle for a few seconds. I didn't even know that was possible. <laughs> I wouldn't think it would be able to get relaxed enough, but just to show what I know. Okay. Build up a little more train here. Okay, I think we finally got it as level as I'm gonna get it. Oh, maybe not. Put the spot here to do some. <laughs> I can't, I, really? How do I fix this thing? <laughs> there we go. Finally. Mostly good. And I wrecked it. Good enough. Okay. Uh, I need my wood back. Uh, this is a little bit uneven here, too, actually. Itty. It was 6 a.m. and you were exhausted? Oh, yeah. I mean, I've fallen asleep on the highway in my car before and uh, had a minor accident. Not good. At the time, I was working ridiculous hours. I was working I was working an office job that was like 100% commission-based and uh, I was having trouble with the sales aspect of it. And I was, uh, I was moonlighting at the airport loading trucks for UPS and I would go into work for that at uh, like 1 o'clock in the morning I'd work there until 6 a.m. and then I'd go home and I'd shower and change and put on a suit and go drive to work it was like an hour commute to my job and then I'd work all day until like I got home at 9 or 10 at night sleep for a little bit and then get up at 1 a.m. again to do it again <laughs> that catches up with you in a short amount of time I don't recommend it okay I need uh I need to cultivate the soil. It doesn't really boost it up. I think... Oh. Oh! I did... You know what? It didn't occur to me that it would do that. Uh... Hmm. I feel like I probably should have cultivated the soil before I put down the outline for my... structure. <laughs> and I learned something today. I wonder if it'll make a difference if I boosted the level of ground up a little bit where those things are. Like, if I get the ground on the inside of the wood to be higher than on the outside, but I don't know if it'll do that. It might actually just, like, overrun it. Uh...
does pretty much overrun it. <laughs> um, if I stand like here, I might be able to get the right level. Huh. There we go. That's what I want. Kind of works. Now I wonder if I if I cultivate it now if it will stay inside the boundaries of what I've done there or if it's going to overflow it anyway. I don't I don't even know why this really matters. It probably doesn't. And it still spills over. Don't. All right. I'll send it back to the lower level. doesn't recognize my viking boundaries darn you terrain uh so i guess i probably should do that after i uh like do the little boundary after i see where it actually puts the terrain for me i might have to move it all It's a good boundary on this side. I think I just I might have to move the boundary on this side a tiny bit. It's messing with my aesthetic. Because I kind of wanted to do like grass on this other. Oh, what? What? Why did it work in some spots, but not in the front one? I'm confused. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. Try to be piggy. Actually, what happens if I turn this into grass here on the outside of this? Okay, so clearly I can't do that because <laughs> that's the, that's just not gonna work. Uh, drat. There we go. There. Good enough. Fox Grass and I will go through your plans never work. Just give up. Uh, yeah. They don't... Don't say they never work. They absolutely do work sometimes. Usually, uh, when they're accidental. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, I totally plan to do that. It's fine. Whatever. As long as it looks moderately okay, I'm fine with it. There we go. Okay, so we got our two farm plots. Uh, we'll do some little wooden fencing around here. Some of this stuff. Really? I can't. Can I open that? That doesn't look like it's lined up right. I guess it's fine. It's not really going to be fenced in. I'm just going to do the corners.
What we really need to make is a, uh, a scarecrow for, for here, too. We can use, like, a troll head or something to make a scarecrow. <laughs> Keep those stupid death skeetos away. Where will the pigs go? Uh, we have no room for pigs here. Plus, the deskitos would probably eat them. Not to mention, I don't even know how you would get pigs out here. I doubt if you can get the pigs to go through the portal. Do large X's? It'd be kind of huge, though. How do you mean the large X's? Like, uh, I assume you're talking about these, right? They're kind of huge, though. Bought Valheim for your hubby because of Cryptic Fox. My hubby loves it, and I enjoy watching Fox play. Awesome, Lisa. I'm glad your husband is enjoying it. Such a fun game. Pig spawn and plane sometimes. Do they? I've never seen them out here, I don't think. Just the locks and stuff, but uh, I guess I really haven't been looking all that closely. I just wasn't expecting them to find them here. Here, Deskito. I don't know how far away it is, but I hear it. It's all foggy. Missing requirement. Oh, I wasn't inside the bench. That one was terrible. Come on. Mess with me, game. There. Good start, anyway. Tosquitos come out at night more? Uh, I mean, everything seems to come out at night more in the game. Plus, they're a little bit harder to see, so it's, uh, it's one of those things where it is a little handy to... Not spend too much time at night. <laughs> uh, okay, so I want to do paths here with the uh, with the hoe. I don't know how wide it makes them though. I don't remember. Oh, I need the stone cutter. Ah, oh, come on, really? Shoot, that means I can't do my stairs either yet. Maybe I better. I'll just mark where I'm going to put the stairs so I don't forget. Uh, I'll, have to, I'll have to get the uh, the materials over here for the stone cutter bench. The stone cutter requires uh, iron, I think, to make it. I'm gonna do one like one staircase here, and we'll do a second one on the on this side over here to mirror it. Am I outside? There, there we go. So that's where the stairs will be, and then I want to do like a stone path down here, and then uh, straight out that way. I was hoping to do a little bit of the uh, a little bit of the grass down here too, but. It's, uh, it makes a much wider footprint than I thought it would. Like, I could fill in this with grass now, I guess, in the interim. This way it doesn't look quite so barren down here. Since I can't put my stone path in just yet. Okay, well that's a nuisance. <laughs> just gotta go. There we go. Looks a little overgrown though. Looks like a mustache. <laughs> what are you, a stone cutter? Who needs the who needs the British crown? Who keeps the metric system down? We do, we do. Ah, the stone cutters. 
Good old Simpsons. Okay, um, I'm gonna need to relocate some of these things too. Like, they're gonna be kind of in the way when we start building, but um, so I'm thinking if I if I have the staircase come up here, then I'm gonna want like a, a path back here. And we'll have our windmills at the back here, I guess. I, I mean, it's not really like the highest elevation, but we're on the plane, so I mean, what are you gonna do? Yeah, I can hear the Desquito, but I don't know where it is. The directional sound's not really helping. Okay. Uh, in terms of our, our building, though... Let's see. We'll do uh, like a little post here. This is required. Maybe I should put a post under there. Um, if I go too wide, then I'm not going to have any room back here to put windmills, so maybe I should stick with six across. It's probably going to be tall enough anyway. And I broke it. Looks crooked. What are you talking about looks crooked? Ain't no crooked. Flawless. And it didn't work. I didn't do any measuring for this, so I don't know whether I'm going to have this centered between my staircases or not. And uh, it'd be funny if I backed in here while I'm building. <laughs> oh my god, where'd I go? <laughs> So I'll do it nine deep, I guess. I'm definitely gonna need more wood, I think. And it's nighttime, man. All right, stuff's gonna have to move in the morning. Uh, we'll go back and sleep, make it daytime. Hey, Darna, how you doing? How the heck do you just go? Uh, do you get a straight line to go crooked? Uh, it's a skill, really. What are you talking about crooked? It's not crooked. Stop trying to give me a complex. <laughs> but if you're challenging me to make a straight line go crooked, challenge accepted. It, that's right. See, it's not crooked. Now you're making me think it's crooked. I'm worried. Better not be crooked. It only it only snaps to certain angles anyway, so I can only get it so square. I think. I think you can hear locks rumbling. I don't know if it's the locks or just. Uh, more goblins is. Are you sure that's not crooked? Looks crooked. Oh, Scoob! It probably is crooked. Stop it! You're giving me a complex. Now I'm gonna have to go back and check it because I don't know if you guys are just messing with me, which I suspect you are, or if I actually built it crooked. Ah, I'm on fire! It's struck by the curse of the Nate. Definitely crooked. Ralster! <laughs> Survey says it's mostly not crooked. I don't know if it's centered, but it's uh, it's good enough. 
As good as it's gonna get for me. Bonus wood. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have a problem though, because I need these chests to move, and they're slightly filled with stuff. Put them out of here. Get out of my way! Scoob's made you say it, blame her. It's always Scoob's fault. I've learned this. Nate told me so. He said if ever there's a problem, it's Scoob's fault. And I believe him. He wouldn't lie to me. <laughs> he would never. Okay. More buildy builds. I think I'm gonna look at Forgo putting actual doors in this building. I think I might do like a like a porch kind of thing and use round doors. If I can make it work anyway, in a way that looks reasonable. Alright, uh let's do a the porch will be out this way. To be any benefit to closing doors in this game anyway. Is it crooked or just needs repairing? Repairing. <laughs> uh, no, it's crooked. Uh, I'm doing that specifically to mess with people. That's right. <laughs> it's not crooked. It's perfectly straight. Stop it. Okay, uh, I will need supports across the floor, so I guess I'll just put those in now. Oops. Maybe I should put a support in the middle. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, while I'm doing all this, it'd probably be a good idea to get some grain growing, because I'm going to be spending a lot of time building the structure. We might as well get this planted. Okay, so we have uh, barley and flax. Hopefully I get seeds when I harvest this stuff. So barley on the left and flax on the right. I don't know if this needs the same kind of spacing even. Requirement. Man, it's gonna take a while for these fields to fill up. <laughs> ED is one by one spacing. Oh, that's good. Skeptic Fox, was you expecting perfect? Oh, yeah. See? There's somebody who's got to figure it out. If you were expecting perfect out of me, man, have you got problems? We need that don't starve together mod that lets you like line everything up. <laughs> and that's it already. Alright. So uh hopefully when we harvest these I'll get 
like more than I put in the ground. I don't, I don't know how the game handles that exactly. Because I ripped this up from the goblins and that looks like it's not growing. No seeds from barley or flax, you don't, so don't convert everything. So what's the point of planting it if you don't get more than what you planted? Uh, these things are too close together. Some of them aren't growing. <laughs> I don't know if I put them too close to the wood or just too close to each other. These are all growing fine. The flax is probably the more important of the two. Because you make cloth out of that, but... This one I screwed up. I think maybe I might have overlapped the plants a tiny bit when I was planting them. Critic Fox couldn't get them lined up in DSD even with the Shh, quiet! Stop telling! <laughs> it's tattling. It's evil. Alright, well, whatever. I guess it'll have to do. Let's see what we get from that stuff. I'm, does that mean, like, in order to plant more of it, you gotta, like, constantly go and find a, another source of it? Because if so, that's kind of crazy. You should be able to get more out of it than, you're, than it takes to put it down, right? Or something. Have you ever thought about drawing uh, ground paper lines on your monitor with a sharpie? <laughs> uh, as a matter of fact, uh, no. This might surprise you, but uh, no. I need uh, to put my workbench out here. I have to move that portal too, I guess. Ah, we need more wood. I've, I've already just about chopped or uh, used up everything I chopped down. Brutal. You get double back. Oh, okay, good. I, I, I see. I, I didn't think they would make it so it was only one, like a one to one, because that would just be terrible. Happy to know I'm not insane. I've got the certificate to prove it. I hate the way they do the gapping. There we go. See, like, when you put the piece in, like, the three boards are close together, then there's a gap, and then a single board. And so every time I build and I'm looking at the floor and trying to see the tiles, it always looks like they're in the wrong, like, it always looks like it's misaligned. <laughs> Stupid thing. Four stop yonder. Yeah, but I don't have a wagon over here, so to haul the wood back from over there. And those are there'll be a bunch of pine trees and stuff there too. I guess I could go over there and get some wood, but I might end up getting some more fine wood. We'll see what they have. Might be worth chopping some of that down. But again, I don't have a wagon, so I can't haul can't haul very much over here. I guess I could go through, break the wagon, and rebuild it over here. It's all she wrote for the wood. Floor's uneven. Stop it! <laughs> Probably is, actually. Alright. Stash this away while we go get more wood. Just alternate the boards, 9 degrees each placement. Yeah, so like you get the like a, a checkerboard pattern. I want to make like a herringbone floor. <laughs> Take a lot of wood though. How much wood do you get for these? Two. That's not very much. Maybe we didn't pay retail for that flooring. Could have got a sweet discount. <laughs> I never pay retail. Yeah, you're right. It probably wouldn't bother me as much if they were checkerboarded. Oh, God, stupid bugs. This is why we don't harvest wood out here. <laughs> Come on. Big flying jerk. Kind of hurt a bit.
Did you ever get your turnips planted? I did, yeah. So I have, uh, I think, nine of them planted right now back at the, the other base. But yeah, these are all fine wood trees. Plus goblins. So these won't be the best for uh, for getting the wood I need either. I think it might, it's probably just easier to go through the portal, harvest it back in, uh, in our main area, and then come back here with the wood. Just want you to know the sides are crooked. Stop it! This side is crooked. I've got a weird little indent over here. <laughs> All right. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. The sword cuts those little trees as well as the axe, FYI. Yeah, six to one, half a dozen the other. I guess I could keep my shield out of it in that. Mm, dark metal. Oh, you know what? I didn't plant the uh, the trees before. I probably should do that before I forget again. Uh, make these. Plant ourselves some trees. I think instead of plant planting them over there where I have been, I'll stick them back here so I know which ones I've planted specifically. Create my own little forest. Stamina. This is where a community labor force would come in handy? Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's, uh, so Nate's been playing with a group of, like, eight people, and so they, uh, I'm sure they tackle some of these things a little bit quicker because they've got more of them gathering things. Makes resource gathering a little more interesting. Or a little faster, anyway. When will you play DZ again, Fox? Uh, I'm not sure. I'll probably play it again at some point this week. Kind of been flying by the seat of my pants with my schedule lately, rather than, like, figuring it all out ahead of time. But I'll probably play again at some point this week. No, we suck. We die a lot. Well, there's eight of you, though, so the thing is, like, anytime you fight something of any significance, it's going to be that much harder to beat because it's got more life and hits for more damage. But you guys have built up a larger community of stuff than I've built already. At least from what I've seen. Do you make friends with the tree? Only when you hug it. Sweet, lovely tree. Nine branches are of the best wood. Romancing a tree is hard. We do have quite a stockpile of goods. But yeah, you would. <laughs> so like, well, all of you like gathering wood, chopping stone, gathering metals and all that stuff. Stuff, uh, stuff would pile up pretty quick, I would think. Did you guys end up fighting, uh, fighting Bone Mass today? <laughs> right here we have our happy little tree. You know that tree needs a friend. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure there's plenty of people who would be willing to jump in and help. I'm just a glutton for punishment, I think. <laughs> Not today, but the plan is to fight him on Thursday. Nice. Make sure you bring blunt weapons. Nate's blunt personality isn't enough. You need a blunt weapon, too. <laughs> is he on here? I hope he is. <laughs> Oh, Mimi, let me help. Or blunt humor. 
Sure. Deadpan humor works too. Blunt weapons. Anything blunt, really. Yeah, there's plenty of people who would join to help, but uh, I can see Rabbit Dog like knocking down buildings going, I was collecting wood! <laughs> He's like, see, I can't help. <laughs> I has collected woods. Dude, have you not killed Motor yet? Sure I have. Yeah, Nate and I fought him. So the only boss that I haven't beat is uh, Yagloth or whatever, the last one. He's uh, the big skeleton dude. The rest of them I've beat already. Oh my god. Ermagerd, I can't hit this stupid stump and I don't want to hit the, I don't want to hit this berry bush next to it. Chopped a few of these by accident. Right, how much wood do I got? 107. That's not going to get me very far. I forgot to bring my wagon over, I think. You'd be like, oops, was that a house? I was on a roll. <laughs> yeah, I could absolutely see him doing that. <laughs> uh, shoot, I don't have any wood arrows. Oh, he flew away anyway. What the heck is that on the roof? Did the bird poop up there? There's a log on Nate's roof for some reason. I don't know why that's there. Hunting serpents is fun. Yeah. They, uh, they give a ton of food, too, when you kill them. They got good meat. The only thing is, it's a bit random finding them. You, like, you sail around all over the place just sort of hoping to bump into them. <laughs> Drop a log on Nate's roof. <laughs> it's the poop shack. Someone, uh, someone dropped a log on the roof. Slowly getting more feathers. I don't really need these seeds on me anymore. I can stay here. So we planted a decent number of trees. Uh, berries and dandelion. Some stuff. Keep the wood arrows on me so if I spot another bird, I can shoot it with a cheaper arrow. <sighs> Captain's log. Don't think won't flush. Why are you not using black metal weapons and tools? Because I don't have them yet. <laughs> That's why. I have a black metal shield, but uh, I need to make uh, I need to make some cloth before I can make the uh, the metal weapons. So I just planted flax and barley in our. Uh, in our plains farm. So when I get those grown up, I can uh, we can make the uh, spinning wheel jobby, and we can make ourselves some uh, some cloth to work with. And then I'll have the black metal tools. Serpent trophy is the best in the game. I haven't gotten the serpent trophy yet because I haven't dragged one ashore. Um, I killed them out in the water. So I was able to get the meat by jumping in and getting it while it was floating, but you gotta drag them ashore to get the other materials from them, and I haven't done that yet. Wait, oh, yeah, I gotta check my turnips too. Someone yelling in the background of your place? I heard someone yelling. Nope. I don't think so. Not that I heard anyway. It's possible the mic picked up something I didn't hear. I have noise canceling headphones on. <laughs> sound like they were yelling dad or was it just like incoherent yelling <laughs> serpents have regular spawn locations once you learn them they're easy to find oh i mean i found a couple but i didn't but uh it's not like i've run into them in consistently the same places sometimes i've sailed through areas and there were none and then when i went through a different time there were get up <laughs> what was he saying
incoherent. Yep, wasn't from here then, I don't think. Mark them so you can find them again. That's a good idea. I love how they just explode in a spray of feathers. <laughs> Some more night slash day spawns. Yeah, that's too much work for me. I can't. I'd rather just uh, focus on doing other things. And if I run into a serpent, I'll kill it and take its meat. Make a play Daisy with mouse and keyboard on Xbox now. Yeah, if if I can get them all plugged in, I could potentially. Yeah. I'm not likely to. Ghost avenge me, you got poked? Wait, you got poked by a ghost? I thought they were beyond such things. I do a video showing how Oh my god, I just had this thing pile on my head. I do a video showing me how to work the config file in locator. Please, please, please. I don't know what you're I don't know what you're talking about by work the config file in locator. I'm confused. Are you trying to like, uh, you mean like to turn on like the dev commands or something? I hope my cart didn't break. <laughs> Please tell me it didn't break. Oh god! Surprise! Changing the labels? Labels for what? Say, if so, I'd, I don't know what, uh,. I don't think I've done that, so I, I have no clue. <laughs> Ow. Oh, great orc throwing stones at me. Don't throw stones at your elders. Wow, I'm not stupid, Rabbit Dog. I just don't know what they're referring to changing the config file for. Wow. I can does things with the pewters. Well, they have they have, they have uh, the internet on computers now. Ah, oh, I did it wrong. I meant to do it. Uh, wow! That's not what I wanted. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Good grief. Wrong YouTuber, sorry I watched two of you playing this game. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, no, I haven't bothered messing around with the files. Um, I suppose. So there's this car, it runs on water, man. <laughs> Oh, wow, this is zero cool, yo. What's zero cool? This is what now? Huh? Okay. We got wood. No comments required. Uh, we'll stash this stuff in here. I can figure out where I put it all. Okay. Sleep, we'll make it daytime. Head over to our other place and keep building. Ten types of people, those that understand binary and those that don't. Ba -dum -bum. <laughs> Actually, it's a water-powered car and website. Yeah, see, I don't really buy that, but okay. Close enough you can block a shaman's poison with your shield. Oh, really? I've never tried that. I usually just try to get out of the way of it. Curse me, I can't. I'm gonna be able to jump here. There we go. We're saved!
wonder what the floor would look like checkered. Try it out on this build. We use a checkered floor. <laughs> I bought some powdered water, but I don't know what to add. The only problem with playing mouse and keyboard on Xbox is the controller periodically shuts down, so you gotta turn it all back on to chat. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I really can't be bothered with the whole mouse and keyboard thing. Like, I get that it would probably make the inventory management easier. But I'm terrible with mouse aiming anyway, so it's not like I'd be gaining an advantage that way. I'd rather just get get more adept at using the uh, the interface they have. It's like parquet. <laughs> it is, pretty much. Look, we got parquet flooring. These Vikings were ahead of their time. Not the fanciest of builds, but hopefully it'll look good in the end. <laughs> it does look weird. <laughs> ah. Their floor was the sports where you jump over walls and what? Fox needs the aim assist controllers have. <laughs> yeah, I need that too. <laughs> Let's face it, I'll take whatever I can get with my potato aim. I'm an equal opportunity potatoist. Okay, this needs to go. So they parkour floors? It was park, parquet, whatever. Oh, the floor was that sport with it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Whoops. <laughs> Box, do you have core wood for the posts? Uh, I don't have any on me right now. I mean, there's a, the black wood's like right there, so I could, I could go get some. Oh, uh, I better hold on to that so I have the stuff to make the, uh, make my return portal again. Um, I think for now I'm going to stick my portal in the middle of the room so it's just kind of out of the way. Actually, if I put it, put it on the ground over here, that'll work too. Keep it out of the road. Deal with it later. Okay. Um, so this front part will be like a deck. I'm going to need stairs on here. Why are those snapping weird? There we go. What? Come on, game! I literally... <laughs> He's running... Look at the... Oh, I was trying to get a good camera angle. He's, uh... He was running on, like, a weird... A weird angle up the stair. 
He's like leading way back. <laughs> Look at him. Oh. Uh, all right. Clearly, that's not uh, that's not right. Oh, I see what's happening. It's it was snapping to the uh, snapping to the board inside. Come on, there we go. That's better. Needs to name the board if he dies. He can he can't get back. Oh, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> Just in case something kills me, that would be a very good idea. Okay. So what I'm thinking is uh, this is nine across the thing on the inside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I probably should have made it an even number. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna do like a vertical post on the corners. That's weird. Why does it? Why does it inset like that? That's what I wanted. So that's going to be like the interior part of the structure, but then I, for my portal, I want to have like a little section in the middle here that is its own little side room in the roof anyway. And then I'll do the same thing on this opposite side here, I guess. So that works. You should go see what's at the end of the world. It'd probably ride like right off the end of it, but it's it's kind of a long way to get to the edge of the world. I do want to sail around and explore a bit, but I, I can't foresee that being a terribly exciting stream. You know, it'd be interesting to see some of the new areas and stuff, but uh, I, I struggle with whether people are really gonna want to watch that. <laughs> it's a it's really slow sailing around in this game. Um. All right, so if I do. Uh, do a little cross support here. Yeah, that'll look cool. That was weirdly outlined. Oh! Uh, the posters line up weird. There we go. It's better. Bot's gonna love the Mist Lens update. I'm really looking forward to the Mist Lens. I don't know when it's supposed to come out. But it's got big spiders. That's my only concern with it. <laughs> Should be really cool, but uh, yeah, the spiders are gonna be uh, like the bane of my existence. You can fall off the edges of the world. I believe it. Yeah. Like I said, I haven't sailed out there, but uh, I totally believe you could. Okay. Um, the doorway. I want to do something a little bit different. I don't know if this is gonna work though. If I do. Uh It's gonna. No, that's gonna be. Kind of want to make the door rounded if I can, almost. So it's like a, a like a rounded portal, but the beams are. Oh, actually, the forty-five degrees will work better. 
That's not gonna snap the way I want, though. How can I set that into the floor, I wonder? May not do what I wanted to. That's gonna be huge. That's not gonna work. I need the, what I want is the, the beam to be like halfway through the middle of the board. Cause this is uh, maybe I need to break the floor to do this. Like I might be able to get it to snap if I can put a lower point down here so that, there we go. That's what I want. That kind of a thing. I guess if I make two of these as big as the same as making a taller one, isn't it? Crooked floor. Yeah, the, the floors are all crooked. They're crisscrossing back and forth. I made, uh, made the parquet flooring. That's gonna be maybe too much. Right, maybe I'll go with this. I'll go with the shorter one. Yeah, I gotta put my floor back now. And then I just won't put an actual door on it. I'll leave it open. Because the planes are kind of warm anyway. <clears throat> yeah, if everything's crooked, then nothing's crooked. Yeah. yeah it's kind of diamond shaped, but I could put like a, a cross beam across the top up here. I can't, I can't snap it there right now, but... Um... Well, I see what the structure looks like. I might be able to do something with it. Uh, it occurs to me that I made this an even distance across. <laughs> I can't even... can't do the, uh, the cross tops on this thing, I don't think. Almost works. It's kind of shaped ish. <laughs> oh, it's a tear. <laughs> this is the place where the doves cry. I don't really like that. Something not right about that. This is going all experimental build. Yeah, all my all my floor is weathering except for the three pieces I put down there. <laughs> it's, it's lightly moldy wood, it's fine. 
just pre-weathered. Okay, and then uh, roofing-wise... Hmm, I need this corner piece. Um, is that it? That's it. Oh, that links up really weird. That's the wrong angle. Um, this one. There we go. Like so. Roof on here, all my stuff will stop weathering a little bit, maybe. And I hope that's going to join in there okay. I don't know if it's going to work. I guess it will kind of... No, I got to have the peak up higher on this thing. Wrong roof piece. What, this one here? But I need that center. Uh, I need that center. It's not going to work right. It's a different height to that uh, that side roof. It's not going up as high. I kind of need it to, like, blend in. I guess if I then, back here, if I put this one on. Like that, then it kind of merges into it, sort of. It's not perfect, but it's close. Close-ish, anyway. <laughs> Just have a skylight there. <laughs> We don't need no closed stinking roofs. These are the ones that are gonna suck because I'm not gonna have that peak on it. Actually, they're just gonna have like a like an overlap at the top, I guess. Yeah, like so. Well, it's not perfect, but it's a reasonable approximation of what I wanted. Oh, but now we can't see the stars at night. Oh, too bad. Actually, can I do like a little pattern thing on the front here too? Like shift that off like one angle. Can I connect here? Look like I can join there. That's weird. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, I'm out of wood again. Gah! This job is taking too much wood. Last E game. Peak's not really as high as I was envisioning. 
I guess it'll work. All right, I gotta chop more trees. <laughs> I should have stocked up on wood before I streamed tonight, but I didn't really have time. Should be able to use the wooden gate doors on either side to connect to the floor at the corner. Is the part of the floor? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I could use the wooden gate doors, but I, I'm probably not even gonna bother. There doesn't seem to be a, a specific benefit to closing it out. Um, we have a moat all the way around it, so it's not like it's um, it's keeping enemies out. Okay, so I'm confused. You can go to bed while you're on fire, but you can't go to bed while you're wet, even though you're sleeping on straw. That that doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> Remember to build a floor where the fire will be. Yeah, I've got to put. Uh, I got to figure out where I'm going to put the fire in there actually, but we can sort that out later. I'll probably do a central hearth, the um, same as I've done before. And then it's uh, relatively easy to build it up. Uh, I need. Any more trees I can chop? So, hack down some of the ones on this side. Out of my way! Gonna get a flat? <laughs> oh no, my my wooden tire is flat. That's not an easy thing to change either. Bye bye, birdie. Hard to believe Grounded Game came almost nine months ago. You're building remind me of that. Oh, I to watch the game. Thanks, Wild Root. Yeah, it's hard to believe it's been out that long now. It was like, uh, was it August of last year it came out? Something like that? Still looking forward to them adding more of the, the story component in that game. Put a lot of building time into that. <laughs> you should build a tree farm. Where you, as you chop the trees down, they fall on each other and save time chopping. Oh, I think I hit my cart. <laughs> it's like a little upended. I surely did. They need to add something to which to, to ground it? Uh, agreed, yeah, they uh, need something more. I was having a lot of fun building that game, but um, I'm looking forward to like having a little bit more to do in it now. I'm also looking forward to Small Land coming out. I don't know if or when it's going to, because <laughs> it seems like it's been delayed a couple times. But it was actually announced before Grounded uh, was announced. Still waiting on it, though. Yeah, I have everything in Grounded right now. Unless there's stuff that was added in the last update that I haven't gotten, that's possible. Never heard, of, never heard of Small Land? Yeah, Small Land was announced before Grounded was announced, but it's a similar idea. Like, you're, you're shrunken little tiny people surviving in the wilderness. But I don't know if you're supposed to be, like, fairies or what. But you, it's, uh, it seems to be pretty big in scope. Like, everything from, like, making boats out of leaves to, like, there's, like, a train and stuff. It's The trailer for it is pretty cool. It seems like a bit more of like a gritty adventure than uh, than Grounded is. Grounded is a little bit more cartoony. Is it Grounded still an early preview? It is, yeah, they're still building it. <laughs> that card has seen better days. On. Skateboard? Now? Oh, the, uh, the 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 cart, yeah. It's the days when games were released completed. Yeah. 
there is that. I mean, I, I have to say, though, the, the ones that I have played that weren't completed, though, I've gotten a lot of fun in playing them over the course of the development, and the, the constant addition of new things to the game has, has made them fun and exciting. Whereas you would play through it once otherwise, and then you'd be done with it. I think there are some games that def definitely... You're really not gaining anything by playing the unfinished game. But... Like, playing through Subnautica, for example, before they finished it was fun, because, like, as they added new things, it was, like, cool new things to explore that extended your your viable playtime, and Oxygen not included, it, that, that was in early access for years until they finished it, and I had a lot of fun with stuff as they were adding it in. So, I don't know. Sometimes it's, uh, sometimes it's good. Other times the game just ends up a hot mess, and then you, uh, you didn't really net anything. <laughs> Tree basic ground is pretty awesome. Yeah, that elevator gave it really handy. <laughs> Getting all the way up top. If we had something that could let us fly a little bit better, that would be amazing launching point. Not that the, the zip lines aren't cool. Astroneer is still almost cool. <laughs> I played Astroneer years ago when it first came out too. Put a bunch of time into that. The game changed a lot over its development cycle. It's still a good game. I haven't played it in a long time, though. How about Prepper? You escape? Do you play that or kiss a goodbye for a while? I probably won't play that again for a while. Unless they happen to add, like, some new stuff or something to it. I think we've already seen the bulk of what that game has to offer. It doesn't really have a ton of replay value. Hello, pig. Don't mess with me, I'm shooting birds. I'm, don't mess with me, I'm missing birds. Oh, come on. Ah. Oh. Stop it. Okay, you guys are gonna get it. Hey, now, where'd I leave my cart? Oh, there it is. Big took an arrow for the bird, yeah. Valheim definitely got the balance right. Yeah, there's a lot to do in Valheim right now. Um, you know, I think any of the games like this, whoops, any of the games like this that have uh, like stuff you can build, I think it, it certainly ex extends the lifespan of the game. Because you can just have fun adventuring and building things. I'm looking forward to them adding new content. That And that way, it almost becomes like getting DLC stuff. You know, but not having to pay for it. So like... EA's version of launching a completed game where they then sell you 50 DLC packs is not really any cooler than getting getting something in uh, in early release that uh, they can keep adding to as the development occurs. These beats should be ready now, I think. They look like it. Here, turn up, rather. Not that beat. Uh, seed turnip? Yeah. That's it. That's all. Only slight downside is it really acts is that you, by the time the game is finally hit retail, you have nothing left to do or explore. Yeah, this is true. I think it, it extends the 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 playable life of the game over a longer period of time, but you're right. When the when the full release finally comes out, you're already so familiar with the game that the incremental increase isn't all that much. Where did that wood come from? What broke over here? Hmm. Oh well. Oh, we gotta put stuff away. This is such a simple concept game, too. It really is, yeah. Yeah. I I'm looking forward to seeing what they add to it. Because, uh... 
like the the bones of what they of what they released. It, I, I think maybe that's the big thing. Is like when you launch something in early access, it, it should have at least some meat to it by the point you release it. Like, don't release a, a buggy, unfinished mess that you're saying, oh, I swear we'll get around to, to, to polishing it up later. Like, have something that has some decent some decent meat and some structure to it, and then continue to iterate upon that. And a lot of companies don't do that. They just uh, they just push out the minimal viable product kind of thing. All right. This stupid rain out of here. That rain out of here. Uh, I'm gonna need more food. I uh, I guess I'd just roast some meat because. Auto save lag. I don't have anything else I want to make right now. I'll just roast meat. It's cheap. Devs of this game had no idea how much it was going to explode. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I saw it uh, like before the game actually launched, and I, I was really excited to try it out. And then uh, when I first launched the game, I was like, "Wow, these uh, these graphics are really rough." I don't. I don't know if this is what I was expecting. And then I started to play it, and I started to have a little bit of fun. And then the lighting hit me as it was like... I like, like got out of the woods or whatever and got into an open area where you could see the lighting. And I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. And then realized there was all the building and stuff in it. And so, yeah, there's a lot to it. Oh, cop, EA. Yeah, <laughs> good old EA. <laughs> I must be talking about uh, almost all AAA titles now. Yeah, almost. Almost. They try too hard. They try too hard for the wrong things, maybe, is, is, is what it is. They're uh, they're going for the uh, ultra-high-definition, super-realistic, mega-powered graphics that are guaranteed to burn out any kind of a system that's not a monster. Instead of focusing on good gameplay. Not that they're all bad, it's just... You know, maybe it's, maybe they're not focusing on the right thing. Use the harpoon to take out the bird? Oh, that's a good idea, actually. Because it's free. <laughs> Love a great story. Walking sim or easy puzzles. Fidelio incident was awesome. I don't tend to play a lot of story games, to be honest. Mostly because um, they, they don't. I'm, a lot of what I play now, almost exclusively what I play now, is stuff that I do for YouTube. Uh, and I find that story games don't really draw much uh, much interest. Probably games like Baldur's Gate 2, crappy graphics back in the day, but yeah, good adventure. Yeah. Well, um, there was a point where Blizzard had a good reputation for pushing out polished content. <laughs> I don't know where that went, but it's, uh, it's definitely not there anymore. <laughs> Missing requirement. Oh, I left all the wood behind. Oh my god, I'm so smart. Think of monster systems. Do you ever decide what you're gonna do with yours? No, nope, I haven't yet. <laughs> Still undecided. It, I know it's gonna be expensive when I get something else, so I've been procrastinating on it a bit. I can depreciate it as a business expense, but uh, still, I, I just haven't been in a rush to rush to do it. I'm also concerned about what I'm going to do with my existing computer, because I know my daughter's going to want to lay claim to it, and I have trouble keeping getting her off the computer as it is. <laughs> Come on, snap for me. Huh. That's going to make a weird overlap, I think. Let's see what that looks like when I build it. Oh god, why didn't I go with this, the less sloped roof? Ah! Ah. Come on. Oh, it's too far. Uh, really? Last. I'm gonna make. A, I'll have to make a ladder. <laughs> I was trying to cheese it and just use the roof, but clearly that's not gonna fly. Oh, 
That's all right, I guess. There. And then I gotta do like walls and stuff. You can do it! It does look kinda cool, right? I mean, it's not, uh, it's not epic, but it's kinda cool. I wonder if I could do, if I did a similar kinda thing, well, it's not gonna blend into the wall here enough, I don't think. Let's think if I could, like, branch off. Get it to split out the same, see how it would, like, split off that pillar down there? If I could do the same thing here, I, actually, I probably could if I did... If I did that, and then I could put this beam on there. If I can get it to snap to that. Yeah, it's not it's not hitting the top of it. No. So I was thinking I could do like almost like a ribbing thing here, but it's not um it's not giving me a snap point. <laughs> that didn't work. Why aren't you just, why is it not snapping in the right spot? That's weird. It's, there. It was preferring to snap to the top instead of the, uh... Instead of the floor, or the, uh, pillar on the floor. Um... Come on, do what I want! Do what I want! gonna mess with me now. Um, there we go. That looks kind of cool. It's all experimental building anyway. I don't think I even need these, uh, the side rib pieces, actually. Only because when I put the, the wall in, it's gonna have those automatically. Except I do need it here to get the piece to snap to, I guess. Ah, oh, shoot. Ah, oh, no, I, what did I break? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Uh, no, no, no! Ah! <laughs> Darn it! That was uh, that was not the right piece to break. <laughs> what fell? Only one piece. All right, we're okay. <laughs> Mistakes are made. Am I gonna wall it in? I'm gonna wall in the front part, um, but I'm gonna leave the front these um, the upper part that sort of hangs out here as like um, almost like ribbing. Like that. Doesn't in, doesn't exactly match up there, but it's pretty close. So I'm I'm gonna I'll, I'll make do with that. Uh, this one can go, and then this piece can go, and so can this one. Okay. See how it turns out.
Oh, it's not, uh... Hmm. There we go. Let's say it wasn't merging in properly, but it's, it's good. We got it. I don't know how I'm going to do the top of this thing. <laughs> it's might, it might be a little weird. I guess it'll work. Whatever. Good enough. I don't think there's any angled pieces for walls that actually do that. <laughs> so, how am I going to do that? <laughs> There's nothing that has that kind of an angle to it. I, I, I could probably fill it in with angled wood beams. Although that's going to look really weird on the outside. Maybe I can cover up the imperfection by putting something at the top of it. If I mount a shield right right at the top there or something, it might kind of work. I don't know, whatever. I mean, I guess it's not that bad. Let's see. Can I do uh this might not. This might not help. <laughs> I kind of want to have a, a support in the middle there. That that doesn't snap there at all. Oh wait. Come on, game. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll leave it triangular for now. I'll figure that out. It's not. Doesn't look that bad. Kind of a different door, anyway. <laughs> that looks rustic. I mean, it looks like something that I don't know. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not really sold on the look of it. I, I do like the, the roof piece, but the uh, the doorway itself. And I found the moat. <laughs> the, the roof looks good, but I'm not I'm not really sold on the door yet. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, maybe I can like fancy it up somehow. Uh, I better go make it daytime. Do you have an un unactivated portal in the doorway? That might work too. Stacking beam is the only way right now. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's any other way to cover up that opening. I hope that they add in some building pieces that have that um, the, the upper triangle on the cover. Catch one meter beams to the tops and two meter beams to make the peak. Troll head would work, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Council of Trolls. Mind your head. Attach one meter beam to tops of two meter beams to make a to make a peak in the doorway. Yeah, well, I was um. Well, how would, how high would the beams be if I stuck these out here? Yeah, that's about what I wanted, actually. Uh, except the, the lineup of things here is going to be a little weird. It, actually, if I do... Uh, if I get it a snap on top of this, which it's not, doesn't look like it's going to cooperate. Did that, did that build on top of it? I think it did. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's, it's actually like fitting right into the wall now. I can't get it to snap onto the end of it. 
had it for a second. Hmm. Nah, I'm gonna leave it the way it is for now. I think it'll be alright. Okay, I gotta build up this whole second side now. It's gonna mirror it from the other side, I think. Killed two serpents on the way home. Now you're ready for a Yankee. Uh, nice. Should after this series look into Nexus mods? There are so many amazing improvements for building, etc. Yeah, I don't tend to do a lot of modding with games. I don't know why. Just not something I ever really got into. I believe people probably have come up with some pretty cool stuff, though. It's possible some of the builds that I've seen that looked really awesome were even using mods, I just didn't know it. I'm gonna need, uh, get some lighting in here, too. Skyrim mods, that's about it. <laughs> oh, really? There's gotta be more than just Skyrim mods out there. So the one thing I haven't accounted for yet is, uh, some sort of a chimney for my fireplace. That might present a problem. <laughs> what do you mean it's smoky in here? Oh wait, uh maybe the little pattern over here. Green glare so bad I can hardly see. What? Was it crooked on the other side too? How did that happen? <laughs> It better line up right. It worked on the other side. What's going on here? Okay, that's a little better. That was weird. Very deep pause. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah. I was like, something's not right here. <laughs>
Okay. Bloop. Cool. Your dog needs pets, she needs a belly rub. She probably does. <laughs> Scaffolding would make your life easier. Yes, it probably would. I should probably just leave the stairs in place while I'm building this. I'm not like constantly breaking stuff apart, but. But who wants to be logical anyway? What on earth? <laughs> Missing requirement. I'm out of wood. How's our green coming along down here, I wonder? Well, I definitely lost a couple pieces down here, and I think it was just because of the way I overlapped them when I was putting the seed down. That sucks. Oh, actually, it's ready for harvest. What? My barley. Uh, six. Let's plant more barley. Should be ready too, then I guess. Yeah, bring on the flax. Seems like they plant the flax a lot closer together than the barley, which is kind of weird. Just randomly space them out. You got the room. <laughs> I guess I could have, but <laughs> it did grow pretty fast, didn't it? Uh, all right. So this one we want to be the flax. I think I'm just gonna do the same thing. We'll do like one per square. I, I can obviously pack these ones tighter together, but rather than risking having them not grow, I'll just give each of them their each of them their space. Like little teenage weeds. Gonna have their own room. Tons of crops in no time. Teenage weeds? That's just too funny of me to know why. <laughs> you can space the barley and flax the same distance if you want. It looks uh, like you were too close to the wood border for a few barley. That might have been the case, yeah. It's fine, though. I, we have plenty of space there to grow, so it's not like I need to... I don't need to crowd it as close, as po close together as humanly possible or anything. It'll make do the way it is. Um, I need... There.
Oh, that's weird. What's going on here? What the heck? Come on. Oh, it's gotta be because of the floor. That's what it is. I gotta fix the floor in here. Like, why aren't you lining up? Now we go on. It's got no floor. There. Now it should be better. Theory. Mm, I'm actually not sure which piece I was snapping to. I think so it works. Alright, a whole lot of these floors need fixing. <laughs> They're looking a little warped. Time flies when obsessing on the building. Yeah, it really does. I had intended to go hunting for iron and stuff tonight, but uh, we didn't exactly get there, did we? <laughs> Been spending so much time on this. I don't know, I find that in every game I play where either you've got... Anytime you have that creative opportunity to build stuff, it's really easy to sink a lot of time in it. Maybe it's just me. Could be that I'm chronic. Wait, something didn't line up over here. What's going on? That's not right. It still doesn't look right. Not too overlapping the way I want. Cooperate with me, game. That's better. There. Good approximation on both ends. Uh, this side here is where I want to put the portal. Uh, I think... Maybe I'm going to do a little extension out here. Instead of just having... No, I need more wood. Oh, I also need my, my workbench back, I guess. Crafting... Like, so... Instead of just having it flush here, I think I want to have a little, a little extension that comes out. Just like one one spot to work. I'm gonna have my portal sitting in this little this little nook here. Summer house and a winter house. Nice. Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> this one's not going to have as much space as the uh, the one we built on the mountaintop, but um, not that we really need a lot of space in the game. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to need floor in here. <laughs> Can't get it to line up. The beam's in the way. <laughs> there. Okay, uh, let's move the portal over. Oops, <laughs> it's like kicking to pieces. I 
I could pretty much put a portal here as if that wasn't like in deactivated and have it set so you like walk through into the inside, but I don't know if I will. I don't know, we'll see. Oop, lag. I gotta do walls and stuff there still, but that's alright. At least the uh, at least the top is all covered. Fix all the floor in here so it looks a little nicer. Needs more stamina. Why do you always use the 26 degree roof piece on a 45 degree roof? Because there's no 45 degree peak piece. There's just this. That's it. And since this is an uneven thing, it's got to have that peak. It does look maybe a little bit strange, but if I, uh... Oh, what the heck? I seem to have left a little wood up here. Um, yeah, if I, uh... If I try to use 45s, I've got to have an even an even number of spots from uh, one side to the other. I, this is uneven. In order to center it on the build, it had to be uneven. Yes, there is. There's not. Where's the where's the peak piece? That's a uh, 45 degree. Angle? Oh, there. Oh my God. See, there's not one there. I don't know what you're talking about. It doesn't exist. It's totally not one of those pieces. <laughs> I don't, the number of times I've looked in there, I don't know why I didn't see it. <laughs> we'll just chalk that up to my intelligence and observation, observational powers. There we go. There it is. Now it does leave a, it leaves a bigger gap there now in that thing, which kind of sucks. Um, I mean, I could try to like merge the pieces together. I guess. Look how far it uh, extends way in, though. There we go. <laughs> See, chat showed you why would they make a forty-five degree peak piece? That's weird. It is weird. That's why I always use the, the other one. It's because I'm stupid and I didn't notice the other one. <laughs> uh, Bo, you're not supposed to point out my ineptitude. The idea is that it's supposed to remain a secret. <laughs> this is why I have no tutorials for this game. <laughs> Wait, what's going on there? That didn't match. That didn't match at all. I've been drinking sip, darn it. <laughs> All of the tea. That's what it was. I'm blaming it on the lack of tea. No more beverage consumption available. Something is not lining up quite right here. What the heck did that snap to? What did you snap to? Yeah, that's better. Jeez. He's messing with me. Next thing you know, they're gonna introduce 45 degree peak pieces. I don't know what's wrong with them. Okay, well we got all the roofing done. Uh, I think we're probably running low on wood again. <laughs> As I say that, I run out of wood. <laughs> Impeccable timing. I have literally one roof piece left. Mind you, I still have to do all the floor pieces, so it's not like we're not like we're that close to being done. But these cross beams are weathered, but I can't fix them because of the way the floor merged into them.
And I broke my hammer. What do you mean it's too exposed? It's literally inside of a building! Stupid game. <laughs> it, uh, come on! <laughs> it's completely covered by a roof right now. Although, actually, this doesn't say I'm in shelter. That's a problem. That's not sheltered right there. Huh. And this... Parts of this are not under shelter either. Why is that? It's so weird. I wonder if I can put the... Well, I don't have any wood to test it with. Uh, I wonder if I can actually put um, that peak piece down the middle of the stuff I've already done. It, Yeah, it does look all covered, but it's, it's not. The way the pieces meet together seems to make a difference. Uh, I don't have any walls because I ran out of wood, but it shouldn't need walls. It's got plenty of roof around it. I don't know. Game's out to get me, man. Of course, they put in these weird peak pieces. Next thing you know, my stuff, even when it's under the roof, isn't covered. I don't get it. Oh no, best to start new. <laughs> I don't think I haven't done that before. It's dark and I still haven't tagged my portal. No, no, I've already gone through my portal. <laughs> oh, bees are fighting. Are we fighting bees? That's right, you run! Oh, don't you throw rocks at me! Don't make me miss you! There. Oh, here, a forest screw! <laughs> I like how they go from nothing into boom, full existence. <laughs> Must be a good source of wood now. The deer is like, what? I swear I was here yesterday. It didn't look like this. Your roof isn't uh, even insured. That's why it's not. C oh, I see. It's not insured. Right. That's what it is. I gotta like talk to those Allstate people or something. All right. Uh, I'm going there. So many bone fragments. I need something useful I can make out of them. Let's go knock down some trees. Uh, where's my wagon? There it is. Ooh, man, that's a little damaged. I guess I dropped a tree on it before. People insure roofs. Uh, they insure their home, I guess. Maybe not the roof specifically. Look at all these nice trees we grew in here. Some of it's a little crowded. I didn't break it. See the next thunderstorm there. Look up at the sky and you may see Thor fly over in his chariot. Oh, really? That's cool. I mean, I've seen him standing around on the shore, but I haven't seen that yet. Trench around outposts and bases. Yeah, so I did that uh, for our planes base, but I haven't really bothered with my other ones. Even though it makes sense to do it. 
try not to do things that make sense too often. I don't want to ruin my reputation. Ah! Game lag. There are like three trees bouncing on this one. Oh my god, I created a death trap. <laughs> There's one tree in here. <laughs> oh god, run! Timber! Ah! <laughs> okay. That's probably a decent amount of wood we've jumped down already. Trees equal hardest boss in Valheim. <laughs> well, if they fall on your head, they do pack quite a bunch. Run! Oh, jeez. That one was close. You ever play pick up sticks? <laughs> I absolutely did. I used to play that a lot in kindergarten. <laughs> like my favorite game when I was a little kid. Ow! Stupid tree. Those trees look stumped about what's happening to them. Oh, but up, up. You only have to worry about the trees hitting you before you get full iron armor. Yeah, but still, I don't want them pounding me in the head. If they drop enough of them on me, we'll still do a good amount of damage. Is it Thor or Odin that you're seeing? I mean, I, I think the idea is it's supposed to be Odin because he's the one that, that's, uh, that you're trying to impress. I don't think anyone really has any way to confirm, unless the devs say so. Don't think it will affect you if it falls on your head. Well, I mean, I won't get any dumber if that's what you're saying. That I agree with. It might still affect me in the form of a headache. Yeah, I figured that's where you're going. <laughs> Thanks, Rabbit. I can always count on you. Insults plenty. I think it'll give you a buff if you let me fall trees fall on you at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, we 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 earned an achievement. Hard-headed. I wonder what's up with that. <laughs> Odin's on the ground, aka Dark Creeper. Thor's riding his chariot in the sky during the Thunder Trunks. But, I mean, it could be. It depends on what the developers say they did with it, I guess. I don't think they've actually said, but it makes sense, I guess. Although, why would Thor be here in Valheim? Odin's got a reason. We're, we're, we're trying to impress him, but... Oh, we're full on wood again. All right, I don't really need to chop all these down. We only have a little bit more to build out there. Um, obviously, I'll still have to do, like, um, furniture and stuff in that base. And uh, I'm doing it wrong again. And then I also want to build the, uh, the spinning wheel. So I need the artisan table for that. And then I'm going to have to bring some nails with me. I also need nails to build the windmill. 
artisan table, iron nails. Um, so I got enough. I have enough of the uh, iron that I could make one of those. I do want to have more than one, but uh, I can only have enough to build one. Free Dewey Achievement House last comment. It will answer that. Used to be able to spawn him under the name Odin. Not sure if you can anymore. Ah, see? Okay. In part of the lore, you find the world stones about Odin, Thor, and Freya. Oh, yeah. Cool. Okay, that can go there. I need iron nails, so oops. there we go. I should be able to make thirty of this. Iron nails. Okay, and then for the windmill, we need uh, figures. I need iron nails for both. So we'll have to go with just the windmill. Um, the artisan table, though, I'm going to need to build. Takes two of the dragon's tears and ten wood. <laughs> wood, I think we got covered. Where did I put those dragon's tears? There they are. Let's take two of them for now since I can't build a whole bunch. I need 20 stone, which I don't think I have. I'm going to have to go wax some stones. Although, I, oh, I might have some in a chest over there, actually. Maybe when we build the windmill, it will give us, uh, give us access to some of those things we can't build yet, like, right away. That'd be nice. Oh, he really does Iron Man. This game means, reminds me a lot of Stargate SG-1. Well, yeah, because of the portals, right? <laughs> He looks so sad. <laughs> okay, tell me I have stone left. Yeah, good. Okay. Um, artisan table, let me go inside. Sadly, you can't expand on the artisan table, so it's kind of a waste. It sort of takes up space. And then we can build our first, wow, these things are bigger than I thought they were, oh God. Yeah, I totally did that on purpose. <laughs> the windmill's bigger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> it's only because I stepped through there before when I came through the portal. I wasn't thinking about it. Um, okay. So, is there a particular... Oh. Huh. Really? This is awkward. I guess I could put them out here? And these are a lot bigger than I was anticipating. I was thinking I'd have like four of them, but uh, that's not gonna happen. I gotta go. Choop, 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 choop. Okay, um, and then in here we put uh, windmill at 50. I guess we just put the grain in there or whatever. And the process stuff comes up that side. Hmm. I don't think I really want the process stuff dumping towards the outside. If this is going to spin to face the wind anyway, then I, get, I don't really have to be really picky about which way the blades are facing. So we'll do it this way. Sweet. So I'll just do two of them, I guess. We'll put one there, I'll put another one over here. Get our double windmill system going. What is enough? It takes a while, uh, but you'll get way ahead because you can put a lot of barley in it. Oh, okay. That's cool. Well, we got one anyway. Dynamite. Oh, I need, uh, I need to build my walls down. Stone go there. Um, I want to see if I can put this peak piece up here. 
No, it's not. Oh, oh, will it? Aha! So maybe this will then make it so that it counts everything as being indoors, because they won't have that. <sighs> really? It's gonna be like that? Come on, game. <laughs> I can't aim the piece I need to get it on. There we go. It, oh, I was going to say, it didn't break that time, but I guess I'm going to need to put a chimney in there anyway. Uh, I could probably just support that by putting some structural beams at the side. I go like this. That way it's not spanning quite, a, quite as much of a distance. There, that'll kind of like support that, and then I should be able to put that centerpiece in. It's only going to be temporary, I guess, because I'm going to have to punch something out to put in a fireplace, but... There. It still doesn't say I'm under... I'm, I'm covered. I, I don't get it. <laughs> Why doesn't it... Why does this not count as shelter? That is so weird. Usually the roof is enough. I wouldn't think I would have to put walls on, but I don't know. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Oh, why is that one set lower? What? These cross beams are weird. Oh, that's why it snapped to the wrong piece. There we go. No? Dealer? Come on, game. Oh my god. Phew. Yeah, the sides should be fine. I don't know. You cannot have more than one open panel. I mean, I guess we'll see. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. I, I mean, I've done them in the woods before where I didn't have sides on, on it and it made it a viable bench. I, I don't know why it should be a problem when it's actually inside of a building, but... Wacky game. Is my plant flower? Oh, cool, look, they're flowering. I didn't realize the, the uh, flax flowered in the game. That's neat. I'm impressed by the little things. Yep, now it's counting as a shelter, so I guess that's what it was. I didn't have walls. Weird. Even with the ends open, it's fine. Huh. I guess it was just too drafty. <laughs> yeah. Too much wind flowing through here. Maybe the different environments have different requirements. Like, uh, oh, this roof's not finished. Um... Like, here on the plains, it's super windy, so maybe you gotta have the sidewalls in, but, like, maybe in the Black Forest, you don't have to have it, because there's so many trees around, it's not windy or something. I don't know. Either way, we got the, uh, the core of the building in here. I, it occurs to me that now that I have a door on both ends, I don't really have a place to build, a, like, a sleeping area. Probably move this thing. 
Uh, I still want to have a crafting bench here. So I guess I'll just stick it over on this side. Um, I do want to close this off, but I'm not sure how I want it to look yet. I might leave it open for now just so we can get the daylight in. Just sleep on the couch. <laughs> Wind direction tells you where the walls must be. Oh, I see. Okay, that makes sense. Some of the building absolutely drives me insane trying to get it where I snap where I want. Yeah, it can be kind of a pain. It does help a lot to have, like, to build temporary pieces that you then... You then break out. So that does help, but, uh... Yeah, I totally see your point. Um... The one thing I find with the... The sloping roofs in all these buildings is that it does make, like, building storage space and stuff kind of tricky. I wonder if I could do a basement in here. Now that I've just built all this, I'm thinking I kind of want to have a... Except if I do that, I can't put a fire pit in the middle unless I leave support for it. Put a high-hanging room off one end. Well, if I do that, the uh, the sloping roof becomes a new... So, like, you mean if I put a, like a floor across here, you mean? It might not be high enough for that, because I won't have the roof clearance when I get on the bed. Sunken bedroom. I, I guess I could dig underground and have my have a sleeping quarters and storage area underneath. Like, if I... Uh, I'm gonna wind up breaking something now that I built all this. <laughs> I do have supports under here that I gotta be a little bit careful of. Hmm. Treasure cave. Yep, yeah. yeah, told me more walls. It definitely was walls. Makes very little sense to me, but you were right. Oh! Uh, maybe I shouldn't hit that. <laughs> okay, hold on. In fact, I just want to see what it looks like if I try to build... Let's do some walls under here. That's not lining up. That's weird. snapping to a different point because of the uh, the way the floor is. Um, let's see. That's not steep enough. Hmm, I don't know if this is going to work. I mean, I probably could make it work, but I don't know if it's going to look right. I guess uh, I can do the double stairs. That'll kind of work. We're definitely going to need some kind of lighting under here. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. Okay, so maybe that's what I'll do. I'll do uh, I'll do like a little basement room under here. We can have uh, sleeping quarters will be below ground in this particular base, and I can do a storage room down here too because I'm gonna need a place to put things. That's gonna take a lot of work though. <laughs> now that I've pretty much done the building up top side, and then we'll have a little little double stairway down into the basement. I'll have to build uh, probably a stone. A stone pillar in the middle here so that I can support the uh, support the fireplace on it or the hearth because we need to have a hearth in here that'll be neat I might even mirror this and have the same the same stairs going down this side we'll see how it turns out when I actually hollow out under here <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta be a little careful of my supports and stuff but 
Uh, and then I'll have to do something outside too to fill in the... Yeah, because that looks weird. That that just looks weird. <laughs> I don't think I can fill it in and not, not fill in my walls. I might have to put in like stone slabs out here or something like a stone flooring to cover over the, the gaps. Uh, do I have any stone on me? A little bit. Let's see what it looks like if I put some stone slabs out here. I had a steam shower as well. Yes, I could get behind that. Oh wait, I don't have the uh, I don't have the stone cutting table. But if uh, if I put these under here, that'll kind of work, I guess. It'll be all right. It would be slightly strange having these things around here, but uh, it won't be that weird. Yeah, it'll be all. It'll look like kind of like a stone foundation, so I'm fine with that. I think. Sweet. Well, it took a lot longer to build than I thought, but it always does. Uh, I was kind of hoping we could do a little bit of adventuring today, but we got most of it built. Uh, hold on. Let's see what this looks like from. Uh, oh, I'm gonna make it daytime. I want to fly over this thing and see what it looks like with a little more daylight. Oh, should have got inside. Build a giant Easter Island head. <laughs> I want to build a big troll scarecrow for my uh, for my farm there. We'll make it like a stick man and put a troll head on top. <laughs> Scare away all the uh, all the death skeetos or something. I'm gonna do cheat him. With the smoke, just get rid of the triangle wall piece. Uh, peek above the door. Yeah, I could potentially do that and just let it drift out the sides. I might end up actually opening up the middle of the roof and uh, just letting it go straight up. Bob the Builder strikes again. <laughs> Can we build it? I don't know, maybe, but it's definitely going to take longer than I thought it would. Seems to be about accurate. So let's... Uh... There we go. There it is. There's our fancy farm thing. That actually looks pretty good from out here. Maybe do with a little bit more decorative uh, kind of stuff on it, but for the most part, I think it looks great. Oh, the wind changed direction. That's cool. Our simple Viking farm space. Sweet. Yeah, I think it turned out good. Um, so obviously, uh, obviously, a little bit more building to do if we're going to do that subterranean basement thing. I do have to figure out the hearth and then wait for the smoke to get out, but. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with how that turned out, but uh, thanks everyone for coming to hang out tonight. Appreciate the super chat this evening from Jess. Thank you very much. Uh, I will be streaming tomorrow night. I haven't decided on the game yet, but uh, should be around 9 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, I'll figure it out tomorrow. Kind of, I've, I've kind of been enjoying just flying by the seat of my pants in terms of what I'm going to play lately instead of having a defined schedule ahead of time. Uh, but yeah, good progress. Thanks again, everyone. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.